the jazz cruise experience is really quite unique. It's well, it's the ultimate in captive audience, I guess, right? <laughs> uh, there, and and uh, it's really fascinating to see so many different wonderful groups and famous jazz artists just at your fingertips. They're both in terms of being able to hear them, but also just to hang out with them and talk to them and and see not only artist to artist, but also watching the guests on the boat. Just they're just wide eyed and getting to like hang out with you know, Phil Woods and all his, you know, Phil Woodsness, you know, or whatever, <laughs> and, uh, or whoever. And it's just really a blast. Um, it's also, what's cool about it is that it's not just one opportunity to hear somebody. Everybody's performing four times, and so you can just relax. Like, I find myself when I'm at maybe the North Sea Jazz Festival, something's like, I wanna, I'm going to go hear two tunes of so-and-so, and then I'm going to run next door and see if I can get this. Oh, and that room's full, too full. Oh, shoot. Well, let me go do this. And it's there's a sort of a, you know, a franticness about it. And here, it's just, just to hang out and listen to two sets of Kurt Elling last night and then mm -hmm. think, ah, oh, oh, I missed Karen Allison. Well, she's playing tomorrow. I'll go do that. And and this, it's just, it's just really fun. And it's also nice because, let's face it, we, I mean, I live in the greater New York City area. And so, in theory, you'd think I'm at clubs every night, checking everyone out, right? No, then there's life. And you're doing your thing. And next thing you know, you realize, man, I just, I'm like, I'm out of touch. I'm not hearing what everybody's doing. Let me go see and hear. And here they are, right at our fingertips. So that's, that's really very cool. Yeah, the, the cruise is, it's exciting in so many ways, from so many different angles, and that I get to share it with my family. So my husband and my 12-year-old boy are here, inundated with life and music and the world and just food. I mean, so many, so many Too different, much food. <laughs> so many different things that are just so available to us. And I think you really do count your blessings when you say, wow, we are so lucky. And how the universe aligned for us to celebrate our 25th anniversary on this jazz cruise is beyond me. So thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I agree with you, Darman. For me, I am inspired by these other people, and the music that I heard yesterday will inform the music that I make today. It, it, it makes a difference. It makes a difference about what you hear and then, and then what you make, um, and the statement that you want to, to make musically and to either join your comrades, you know, or, or come up with your own individual, unique, original idea. Um, so that's important. And, and the audience to see how appreciative they are in every seat in every show I really do feel like that the judgment whatever judgment there is kinda you it's tossed in the water and everyone is here to embrace and enjoy and and support from from both the artist and the audience side so it's really it's a very positive um, fulfilling experience one other thing about the the uh, guests on this ship let's face it if you're going to drop serious coin wow. to go do this you are a real jazz lover right you're not just the casual yeah that sounds cool whatever uh and so there are people on this ship that i know if i got into a conversation about the history of vocal jazz or something <laughs> I, they, I'd start getting dusted by some of these people school, there are some hardcore <laughs> jazz fans on this some of them are, are actually you know par casual musicians some of them are jazz historians some some of them are promoters and things I mean you, there's so many people on the ship that like have it going on in terms of their <laughs> knowledge of jazz and yeah when we were at the Q&A yesterday and I'm, people are asking questions I was, I was starting to get nervous I was thinking man I'm glad there's some other people on this panel because there's going to be some questions thrown at us that I'm going to be like uh yeah, Kurt, what do you think about that one? Because uh, I was like, wow, this is going to get kind of, yeah, this is going to be intimidating. So it's, it's very cool, though.